Welcome back to another video and another lovely ship tour, this time of P&O's gorgeous Ventura. On board there are 22 dining options and bars, she's got three theatres and lounges and four pools. What is it about this ship that makes her so lovely? It was the first time that I'd ever sailed on Ventura and it wasn't one of those cruises that we planned months or years in advance. We literally booked it about seven days before we set sail. By some standards, she's not classed as a really large ship and I would probably class her as a medium kind of ship. She's got a normal operating capacity of 3,078 for guests and 1,205 for crew. Ventura first set sail in April of 2008 and we are going to start by having a look at one of the dining areas which is the lovely buffet on board. This is the lovely waterside buffet and it's a very informal place to eat. It can get very busy. If it does, you have got the option of going to the beach house which is a little bit further down. That is open in the daytimes. In the night time it does turn into a specialty dining room where you will pay a cover charge. On the other side of the waterside buffet you will find the beachcomber pool and bar and this was the perfect place if you couldn't get any seats in the buffet. We quite often came out and just had a little sit, not on the bar stools, but we had a little sit just on the side because there were plenty of tables there as well. The good thing about beachcomber pool was you're undercover so it didn't matter what the weather was like. One deck up from the pool there were some activity areas or if you wanted to just sit down and relax there were some lovely quiet spaces there as well. This is Laguna Pool. Don't be fooled, it is not always this quiet. Now it was very early in the morning when I was taking this video and as you can see the crew was still setting up the sunbeds ready for the day ahead. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Now around Laguna Pool you will find the poolside pizzas and ice creams. There is also Laguna Bar and the grill which is on the opposite side. We didn't eat here a lot. In fact the one day that we decided we were going to was the one day they weren't actually serving and you had to go to the beach house to get the food which was exactly the same food and still delicious. Inside and using these lovely lifts to go down to deck 7 which is promenade deck. This is the lovely Tamarin Club and this had quite an exotic feel to it. It was where you could just relax, pass some time or in the evenings there was live music. They sometimes had quizzes. It was where the silent disco happened. Sometimes there would just be some background music playing so you could just sit and relax and just have a little chat with whoever you're with in your group or other groups, up to you, about what you've done that day. If you've ever sailed on the Ventura, where's your favourite place to be? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm always interested. Conveniently located near the stairwells and the lifts, you've got these handy ship maps. Comes in very handy for me when you get lost as many times as I do, multiple times a day. No matter how many times I've been on a ship, I still never ever remember my way around. Walking from the Tamarind Club down towards Midship, located just off the atrium, is the Red Bar. This is a really sophisticated setting. You can get your pre-dinner drinks here. They offer cocktails and champagne. There's a piano there as well. It has recently had a makeover and it is looking really classy. The atrium on the Ventura spans over three decks and it's got a really relaxing feel to it. Having not sailed on Ventura before this cruise, I'm not sure whether a lot was done during the refit to this area, but it does feel quite modern and really warm and cosy as well. It was somewhere that you passed by quite frequently and it was lovely to stand on one of the upper decks and watch everybody doing the lovely ballroom dancing below. Yeah. Here's to the good days. To the sorrows. This is a 
back into the tamarind club what i've done is taken you a loop around past the atrium and i'm walking down towards havana and we're going to be passing by a couple of places along the way earlier i was near the stage so this is just the view from the back of the tamarind club looking at the stage i couldn't do this video without showing you the exotic ornaments if there's anything that you think, oh no, I've forgotten my charger, I've broken my phone case, fear not, Tech at Sea will have you covered. However, it can't open in port, so it is only open, like the other shops, when you're sailing. This is Sindhu, and I was walking past and I was thinking, it's all closed up, there's nobody in there. I did have a little try of the door, and it did open, so I'm going to take you inside for a little look around. Now I will say I have heard so many good things about Sindhu. I've read lots of good things. I've seen lots of videos saying how amazing the food is. But unfortunately, I am one of those people who doesn't spend any extra when they're on the ship. Because, and I know you're probably all shouting at your phones or your, your TV screens right now. Or maybe you absolutely agree with me. Let me know in the comments down below. This next shop is the lovely photo gallery. So if you've had any formal photos taken, if you've had any photos at all, in fact, this is where you purchase them before you get off, either on your last day or before that. And they've got the handy do-it-yourself touchscreens for you to choose exactly what you want. Next, we are going into Havana, and Havana is Ventura's Cuban-themed nightclub. I'm not sure how much has been done to it since the refit, because obviously this is our first time on board, but it did have some lovely Cuban posters over the pillars. There were some model cars in some glass casings, and all these things just gave it a real Cuban feel, I suppose. There are lots of lovely seating areas, and while we were on board, we were lucky enough to have some guest speakers. However, they all took place in Havana Bar, which was fine, except it was so busy that I think it would be much better if they'd had it in the arena. Lots of other lovely things happened here from live music to bingo sessions, so don't forget your dabbers. From jewellery and fragrances to technology and souvenirs, you'll find it all and more on board. There is a huge selection and it may not cost as much as you think to treat yourself. Keep your eye out on the Horizon newsletter because they keep you updated with any sales or promotions the day before when they get delivered to your cabin. walk forwards from the atrium on your right hand side you've got some more shops and then on your left hand side through the corridor you've got the glass house now this is somewhere you can go to for some drinks or you can have a lovely informal or formal however you like it meal you will have to pay a cover charge here but they do have a selection of wines that they have pairing suggestions for as well and i'm just going to walk you through here so you can get a proper look at the place
The theatre on board Ventura spans over two decks and it is a lovely big area. While we were on board, there were some brilliant shows. We watched Magic Moments, which was all about the life of Bert Bacharach, On the Horizon, which is a Headliners Theatre Company production, and also Astonishing, which is one that Stephen Mulhern has written, and that was kind of a magic show with a bit of a twist, and it was really, really enjoyable. At the time of filming, there were two shows per night, 8.30 and 10.30. Sometimes it was best if you booked, but if you were going to the later show, which is generally what we did, we'd never, ever had a problem with finding some seats. Next, we are going down to deck six. And on deck six, you will find Fortune's Casino and The Exchange. Now, The Exchange Bar was kind of where they had the sports show in. There were quizzes taking place in there. Obviously, I'm showing you this when nothing at all was open. It could get a lot busier than what you're seeing right now. One thing to note is in the exchange, there was an interactive quiz that was held where you had some interactive little remote controls. It kind of reminded me if you've ever played the game Kahoot on a laptop and hooked up to your TV. It was kind of like that. It was the fastest finger and it was really, really good although I did only come 68th out of 201 people. And moving back towards the atrium, you will find some more shops, and this is also where you will find reception or guest services, the purser's desk, whatever you would like to call it. The Ventura may be an older ship, but I really like the feel of the atrium. She just gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling. Just off the atrium, you will find Tazeen, and this is one of the coffee shops slash bars that you can get your Costa from. You can have a little sit down, you can choose some Danish pastries if that's what you'd like to do, and just watch the world go by because there are some lovely, lovely seats with some gorgeous views of the sea. There is also an art gallery on board. Now, while you were there, there will also be some seminars you can go to, exhibitions or exclusive VIP events for you to attend. Obviously, if that's the kind of thing that you like, I went to no exhibitions, no seminars, and I definitely didn't buy any artwork. But that doesn't mean to say they weren't absolutely beautiful. They were. Now, this is yet another shop that is on Ventura. And it was very interesting because when I came off the ship, one of my friends that has already been on there didn't realise that the shops actually spanned over three floors. So don't forget that and have a little look in each and every one of them because you may find a bargain. Next to this shop, you have got your future cruise sales. So if you do fancy booking another cruise while you're on board, have a little look in here because sometimes you might just get a really good price. There's also a library on board on this deck as well, so if you haven't brought any books with you, feel free to come here, sit and read them, or just borrow them and return them afterwards. The stairwell artwork, that is something I'm going to address a little bit later on. For now, we're going to have a look around the Oasis Spa. Lots of things going on in this little area that is tucked away. So you've got the treatments, you've got the gym, you've also got a swimming pool area. If you know when you're bored that you are going to have some treatments done, keep your eyes open in the Horizon newsletter and also in the cabins because one day we did have some cards with discounts as well. So like the Iona, which is what we got off in May, I noticed there was a theme with the stairwell pictures again. This was the forward theme. The mosaic was midship. And the 3D was the aft of the ship. Now, the reason I've got so many of the aft is because we were at the aft of the ship and they were mostly the ones that I did see. But they were fascinating. Really helpful if you just need to know whether you're at the front, the mid or the back of the ship. And just a bit of fun to look at. Now, realising on the last night that I hadn't actually taken any footage of any of the restaurants on board, we stayed in Cinnamon 
and I've got to say the staff, which is why we stayed there, the staff were absolutely fantastic. I realise this is going slightly fast because I wasn't prepared at all. But if you do get a chance, pop to the cinnamon restaurant and say hi to these guys because they were amazing. Metropolis is one of the lounges on board. It is on deck 18 and it is the perfect place if you don't want to be outside in the wind for sail away. Come here because you have got obviously amazing views right at the back of this lovely ship. Taking you outside, there are lots of lovely activities for you to do. There's some deck games and then you've got the golf nets. There's also a lovely basketball court. It did rain a little bit while we were on board. That didn't stop me. I probably wouldn't have played anyway. On board, you will also find the Reef Children's Clubs, which go from age two right up to the age of 17. For obvious reasons, they didn't let me inside to have a little look. Well, that concludes my tour of the Ventura. There are so many places that I didn't manage to get to because we did only have five days. If you are going on the Ventura, I hope you have an amazing time. Don't forget to make it your mission to come to the back of the ship. Watching the wake is my absolute favourite thing to do. It's so relaxing. It's just lovely. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one, which will be my little Ventura series.